I'm going to reveal on camera a secret way to generate some of the highest quality social share images for your blog posts that you've ever seen. These are images that I would probably click on if I saw them in my social feed. You can even use these images for your featured image if you want to. But as a, a social share images, if you're having trouble ranking on Google, these images, if you were to share them on social, absolutely incredible. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Best electric toothbrushes. Imagine you had a blog post about this, but you're not ranking in Google. How can you get those clicks? Put this on Pinterest. Put this on Facebook. This, in my opinion, would get clicks. Let's look at a couple more images. How to apply for a Colombian retirement visa. So I'm going to show you 16 by 9. I'm also going to show you 9 by 16, but you can also do a different aspect ratios too, like one by one. How to apply for a Colombian retirement. I would click on this. This is a cool image. How to apply for a Colombian retirement visa. Different formats. How to get more backlinks. Look at that image. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. Text is perfect. How to get rid of poofy eyes. Dude's wearing, <laughs> he's wearing a whole freaking cucumber on his face. Innovative treatments to prevent Alzheimer's. Like some guy, old guy, upside down inside of a Rubik's Cube. Pros and cons of investing in gold. Look at that. If I saw this stuff on social, I would click on it. Signs your boss is demeaning you. Perfect text right here. Another, this is a 9 by 16. Signs your boss is demeaning you. Absolutely incredible. I'm going to show you on camera the secret way to generate these things. All right. So let's get out of this directory. So this is what you're going to need. All right. You're going to need, first of all, ZimWriter. All right. Description down below, there's a link to get ZimWriter. You're going to need ZimWriter to do this. You're also going to need a stability API key, All right? You can go to stability.ai, get yourself an API key, put some credits on your account. You plug that into ZimWriter. You'll also plug a text API like OpenAI or Anthropic or something inside of ZimWriter. Once you have those things, once you have ZimWriter, your stability API key and your text API key, then we can do what I'm going to show you. So you'll click on AI Vault, assuming we've already set it all up. Click on AI Vault, click on Bulk AI Image Generator. Now let's go to our output directory so I can show you this happening in real time. You're going to need a prompt first. So the prompt that we're going to put in here is not a prompt to actually create the image. It's like a prompt to create another prompt to create the image. So we're going to use this prompt right here. You can pause the video and read it, but I'll read it out loud. Write a prompt to generate a newspaper cartoon graphic. Use detailed visual language that is specific. Make the prompt less than 35 words. The prompt should start with, quote, a newspaper cartoon graphic with the heading title. All right, this is in quotes and it's in curly brackets. In uppercase, the newspaper cartoon graphic should, that's the end of the quote. It, it probably doesn't make sense to you. That's all right. We're going to take this, we're going to paste this in here. Then we need some titles. So the bulk, bulk image generator, you can put up to a thousand different titles or blog post URLs if you want to. So you can put in existing blog posts that you have that you want to convert into social share images, or you can put in new blog posts. So we're just going to do some new titles right here. And I don't want to go deep into the weeds, but you'll see this little placeholder, this title in curly brackets that will be replaced behind the scenes by ZimWriter with each of these titles right here. All right. So when we feed this, when ZimWriter feeds this right here into the AI to create a prompt, the prompt will end up being a newspaper cartoon graphic with the heading eight signs your boss is demeaning you in uppercase, the newspaper cartoon graphic should. So this is the prompt we're working with, but you can use other types of prompts. You can use a prompt like this up here, but I, I really like the style, what I just showed you. And, and it came from this particular prompt right here. I really like that style. I think that's attention grabbing. So we're going to go with that. You'll next need to choose an AI model that we're going to use to feed this into and create our textual prompt. I'm going to use Anthropic uh, Sonnet 3.5, although you could use GPT-4 if you wanted to. Then we need to choose our image model. To do this right, all right, these are all stability models. We want to scroll down to SDU. This is Stable Diffusion Ultra. Now, this is a little more expensive. These are eight cents per image. So if you have a thousand different URLs to put in, just be aware that's going to add up in cost. So make sure you are, in fact, getting a good return on your investment here. We're going to choose photographic. So SDU photographic, eight cents an image. Now you pick your aspect ratio. All right. Just for this example, we're, we're just going to do 16 by nine right now, but you can choose nine by 16, nine by 21, whatever you want. And then this will be the number of images that you want to generate. I recommend, all right, choosing two. 
Now it will give us two images for this, two for this. Now it will double the price, all right? But we'll have a better chance of getting something that we like and then also correct text. But I'll show you a secret way to fix the text also. All right, that's all we're going to do. You can compress the images if you want to, but because we possibly might be feeding this into Canva, we're not going to do that. The next thing to do is press this button, create AI images in bulk. And we will wait a second for it to confirm everything. I want to proceed. I'm going to speed the video up. You will see the results appearing in here. Then we'll check them out and I'll show you how to process them. All right, it's done. And we will look at the results here. So let's check out best camping tents. <laughs> That's perfect. Best camping tents. There you go. <laughs> There's a great social image right there. I do wish there was like a little bit more styling with this, but hey, you know what? It's not bad. Best camping tents. It's not bad. All right. Best dog beds. Best dog. So there's some messed up text in here. I'll show you in a second how to fix that. Best electric toothbrushes. Wow, that's actually pretty freaking cool. Wow, that's really cool, actually. I love that. Best electric toothbrushes. <laughs> that's cool. E-L-E-C-T-R-I-C-2. So that's messed up. I'll show you how to fix that in a second. How to apply for a retirement visa, Colombian. Wow. How to apply for a Colombian retirement visa. How to get more backlinks. That's perfect. How to get more backlinks. That is so cool. How to get more backlinks. How to get rid of, <laughs> how to get rid of puffy eyes. Jeez, these are, they all turned out really well. How to get rid of puffy eyes. So this is maybe not a, a, the aspect ratio that I would choose necessarily for, for Pinterest or something like that. I would do nine by 16, but this isn't bad. Innovative treatments to prevent Alzheimer's. That's cool. Signs your all right, so let me show you how to fix this text. If you're like, oh, I really like this, but the text is messed up. How do I fix that? Let me show you. This is incredible. This is why you need a Canva subscription. So we'll do a widescreen image, which is, so I'm on Canva right now, YouTube thumbnail. Let's just go with that. So we'll take our image, just move it over to Canva, wait for it to upload. And we'll set it as a background, kind of zoom out a little bit. You simply click on the image, click on this see all tab and click on grab text. This is, it's, I love AI right now. <laughs> it's just opening doors that were not possible before. So we'll click this, we'll click grab. All right. Signs your boss is demeaning you. D-E-M-E-A-N-I-N-G. You let me make it a little bit smaller. Uh, still make it a little smaller. All right. Now our image, oh, this down here, this is messed up. Let's fix that too. All right, to grab text. Now, sometimes it will keep it will find a font that's close and it will try to keep a, a similar font, but sometimes it can't. Employee of, so here it couldn't. Oops. Month, let's make this bold and italic. Bold italic. So you can change this if you want to, change the font if you want to. And we'll put it there. That's perfect, and that looks good. I would probably click on that if I saw that as a social image. All right, let's delete all this. Let's do another one. Let's do, the, let's do this one right here. Let's wait for it to upload. And we will replace the background. And we will grab text. I'll grab it. Kind of looks like a cat. Let's change this up. Let's see, look at the font. It, it found something similar. Best cat beds. Kind of move this right here. 
There you go. There's your image. You just download it. You're good to go. See how easy that is? You're paying eight cents an image to Stability AI for these images. But if, if these matter to you, if you want to get those clicks on social or something, it's totally worth it. Like this one's totally perfect right here. You don't even need to fix anything. Best camping. So I'd probably edit this. Let's just do this last one right here. Best camping tents. Wait for this to upload. All right, and we will go over here, grab text. You can click all text actually, and it will just grab it all. But see, when you grab all text, like this stuff isn't actually text and it might actually convert this, which we don't want. It's not too bad. Best camping tents. Let's make this a little smaller. All right, best camping tents right there. Perfect. Let's get rid of tents. And there you go. That looks, it looks like Charlie Brown or something. It's inside of the tent. Absolutely incredible. So again, with ZimWriter, you can do this. You just need ZimWriter. You need the stability API key and some kind of uh, writing API key, like the one from OpenAI. And then here is the prompt again that I used. Although you can change this stuff up. You can test stuff out, totally change it up and see what kind of works for you. I hope that gives you some amazing ideas it's harder to rank on Google for some particular queries, but it's not on social, all right? Pinterest, it's exploding right now. This is a way to capture a lot of traffic through these social channels. This stuff right here that I showed you, let me look at the other ones I showed you at the beginning. This, these don't look like AI images. They look like somebody drew them. Like, it looks like somebody actually spent a lot of time thinking about this, and they're like, yeah, let me click on this and see what this is all about. So hope this gave you some ideas. Any questions or comments, drop them below. If you like the video, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Links to ZimWriter in the description. Also, join the Facebook group. We have 13,000 members in our Facebook group that uh, are they're SEO experts. They're, they're graphic experts. They can help you with basically whatever you're trying to do with content generation. Hope this video helped. Good luck with your content generation, and I'll talk to you later.